Good evening and thank you for joining us. In Newtown, Connecticut today, the grim process of burying the dead began with the first two funerals for victims of Friday's massacre. The community is struggling to come to terms with the loss, one that has touched a nerve across America and here in Canada. Tonight, we'll have the latest on the contentious issue of gun control and help for parents struggling to talk to their children about the tragedy. But we begin with a community in mourning. Our Mike Drolet joins us from Newtown. Mike? Robin, a week ago, the people of this picturesque little town were dreaming of a white Connecticut Christmas. Unbeknownst to them, their world would soon be turned upside down. Now they're trying to heal, but they're also having to bury their own children. It's not the sort of Christmas anybody expected in perfect little Newtown. Two funerals today for a pair of six-year-olds. Noah Posner shot 11 times, whose twin sister survived, and Jack Pinto, whose favorite football player paid homage by writing Pinto's name on his cleats. It was emotional, man. It was, you know, I was fighting back tears a little bit to do it, and, and it felt, you know, it felt good. It felt good to honor a family that was going through so much. And this is just the beginning. 25 other victims still need to be buried. 26, if you include the gunman. Fred Arthur's children are overwhelmed with grief. They're very heartbroken for their, for their friends, and, you know, there's probably lost a half a dozen children in, within a two or three mile radius of our house. So, I mean, it's, a, it's just, it's unimaginable. This is also now a town littered with memorials, magnets for those looking for answers, but there are none. Coming here and hugging total strangers. Believe it or not, it, it helps, it helps me. It helps me, I grew up in the next town over. And I don't understand. Outside Sandy Hook Elementary, 26 Christmas trees lined the road. On this flag, 26 names, and on this hill, 27 angels. Eric Miller thought it important to include the gunman's mother. It's a contentious issue. It's a very spiritual area, yet there's underlying anger that Nancy Lanza should have done more to keep her guns locked up. But people are also trying to move on as best they can. A few cars drove up to the town's elementary schools, unaware they were closed for the day. 14-year-old Chris Heitshaw went to Sandy Hook. He knew most of the teachers who died, and he gets anxious when asked about going back to school. I don't know. It's going to feel, it's going to feel really, really weird, you know? So tomorrow will be tough if school does resume. And so to the decision will be tough about what to do with Sandy Hook Elementary. Some want it torn down, others want to reclaim it as soon as possible. What uh, is, is certain is that decision doesn't, doesn't have to be made until after the funerals. Robin? Mike Durley in Newtown. Thanks, Mike.